Hey guys, we are back in PC Building Simulator. We're back in the Asus ROG workshop. Uh, in the last video, we built, not this, that's the Aqua Corsera build. Yeah, we built this one. Uh, this is a, uh, a build using a bunch of the new components introduced in the 1.4 update, but it's all built in the Lian Lee PC-011 Dynamic Razer Edition case. Uh, so that's a really cool build. Tons of different stuff we gotta try out. New GPUs, new radiators, new reservoirs, new CPU block, lots of fun. So, um, but today, Today we're going to build. Um, we're gonna we're, we're gonna try to build an Nvidia Battle Box PC. So this is actually an idea um, from a comment I got from Big Boss Clart, who said, "Love your videos, keep it up, man." Also, can you make an Nvidia Battle Box themed build? Thanks. So I had to look it up because I actually wasn't super familiar with what like Nvidia Battle Box is. Um, but it's kind of like a pre-built program that NVIDIA has, and they're all like, you know, very NVIDIA themed. Um, and obviously, you know, incorporate the best NVIDIA GPUs. It might have been more of like a GTX series thing. I don't know if they've been doing it with the RTX series or not, but we're gonna do one um, in this video today. So we're gonna build a NVIDIA Battlebox PC, black, green, NVIDIA GPUs, the ultimate gaming machine. It's gonna be sweet. So um, the first thing we have to figure out, of course, always is the case. So I looked at a bunch of cases. I wasn't sure. I didn't know. I don't know. I'm not sure which case, which case. I don't know. I need to do water cooling. I want to do water cooling this one for sure to give it that really good black green theme. And then I stumbled across the Thermaltake View 37 RGB. This is a really interesting case. And I think it's gonna be a really cool fit. I was also looking like at real life NVIDIA Battlebox PCs just to see like what case do people use? A lot of people use actually um, this case, this uh, Corsair 570X, right? Yes, 570X RGB. A lot of people used it. I considered it, but I don't like how the tempered glass in this game is like super muted on that case. So I thought, nah, ain't gonna do that. It's just not that transparent. And this one is so much more transparent. And I wanted to build this case for a long time and I kind of forgot about it. It's really unique because you can see it has this single pane of glass, uh, single rounded pane, which is super cool. So you remove this part of the handle and then they can pull this whole piece out. Bam, just like that. Super neat. We can pull the back panel, of course. Got a front panel and a couple uh, thermal take fans. We're just gonna pull all those fans out because I'm not interested in you. Hello? Mouse, what's going on? I say that up first? Okay, that's fine. Um, actually, it's good because we're gonna take this drive bay out and I'm gonna explain exactly why because we're gonna water cool, like I said. Um, so the first thing now, I've made it a habit to always check reservoir placement before I do anything else to even make sure a case is suitable. Um, so yeah, I was looking at maybe trying to fit like this new Alpha Cool reservoir I didn't get to use in the last build because it just was too big. So we can put it here, which is like fine. It's not ideal. I don't know. It's fine. It's honestly not a big deal, but I kind of don't want to put it there. So if you remove this, we actually get another reservoir placement and it's horizontal, which is super interesting. So I'm going to take that out. Oh, this bay cover. No, this sure uh sure i'm gonna try this one and we're gonna do it horizontal so this will be kind of this will be kind of fun actually ooh, is this bad because now i'm gonna block my radiator ooh 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 ooh. okay maybe this won't work let's see so i want to get lots of good rgb going okay i just gotta, I gotta i gotta look how bad this looks oh and we can also mount back oh man now i'm like maybe i'll maybe i'll just put the reservoir up in the corner dang it I would have loved to be able to put it somewhere else. Man, maybe we do a fat boy radiator on this one. It's been a while since we did a fat boy. What's, what is what is clashing here? What's, what are you unhappy about? Oh, too tall? Too too fat? <laughs> You're fat. Uh, too cool? Too, I don't know what's, hmm. You don't like the, maybe those aren't supposed to be there? Hey, okay, 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 okay. We're just looking at options here. Think about where we want a radiator. I mean, that'll really show the fans, which will be kind of cool. Heh. It'll also, I mean, I don't think we can get it. We aren't going to get a second rad in there no matter what. Definitely not with that fat radiator. And we're also not going to get any fans in here. Ooh, this is just, you know, life's all about compromises. And I am, oh, actually... What? Oh, cool. So they go on the outside. Heck yes. 
Okay, we're not using those fans. That's awesome. Great. I guess let's stick with Ragin Tech fans to match. Uh, Maculas or RBW? Oh. Um, they need to look like that-ish. Um, I'm guessing Iris 14s. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's working. Ooh, this is going to look... I think it's going to look good. Oh, I think it's going to look good. Yeah, so this is all going to light up green. So picture it. Picture it with me, will you? Picture it. Um, let's get a motherboard put in here. I want a black motherboard. I was thinking 9900K would be good. So... Asus RG... Okay, no, we need... Oh my gosh. I'm having a brain fart. 9900K is... What socket? Oh my gosh, this is so sad. Yeah, 2066. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, pretend that didn't happen. 2066. Okay, what do we like? What's a good black motherboard? 2066. Ooh, this one. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. I think that could be good. I do like the Rampage, but it's just so silver. So silvery. Let's do the X299E. Is that an EATX motherboard? Actually, no, I think it's just regular ATX. Hmm. Almost looks empty in there, doesn't it? Okay, so we'll also probably go ahead and throw our reservoir in. Ah, it's just too bad. It would have been so. Ah, that would have been so cool. But I don't want to do like a 280 or 240 rad or whatever. I just, I want, I need it. I need, the, I need the big one. It'll still look cool up there, actually. It might look really cool up there, like with the rounded glass. Yeah. Okay, I'm picturing it. You picture it? You see it? Okay, good. Ram. You know what we're gonna do, don't ya? I mean, every build that requires black but needs RGB, we always go with the Corsair Vengeance Pro, because it's few options that is good. But of course, Trident Z is also quite good, but I like the Vengeance Pro better. Yep, 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 yep. We're doing it, 3600 megahertz. Is sure. Ah, oh, so many clips. Oh wait, never mind. They're only one-sided. Hey. Thank you, game. Blam blam blam. Whoop, 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 whoop. Open, open, open. Right. Let me hope I can get to this. Oh, you would. I was a little bit afraid of it. You know, I I had hope. It's alright. All part of the planning. It's easy to do it when you can unscrew so quickly. Also, I get a lot of comments asking, how do you unscrew things so quickly in this game? Uh, it's a setting in free build. You can also unlock it in career. So it's a great setting. Uh, actually, when I was doing my early, early PC building simulator videos, uh, someone was like, hey, dude, you should do the fast screw in thing and connector thing or dinger. That's exactly what they said in their comment. It was super weird. Um, and, uh, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Thank you. You're the best. Let's be friends. We're going to go 900K because this is all about gaming. And really, um, other than like Ryzen 3rd gen, like a 3700X, no, 3700X, 3800X, um, this is kind of the best gaming CPU in this game, so we're going to go with that for now. Ryzen 3rd gen, hopefully, eventually, would be super cool. I know, it'll happen eventually. They always, they always get it done. I just, I'm impatient. I want it. I want it in real life too. Like, I, if someone wants to give me a CPU, that'd be super neat. So consider it. Consider it, everyone. Not really. You guys use your money for something useful. I'll give it to you. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do EK. Oh boy. You know what? I'm gonna go. Mm. I'm not gonna do an RGB block. I'm feeling a black block. And I don't think I'm going to do the oh cool one, just alpha cool. Why do I call it oh cool? I don't know what is wrong. I think I just see it and I'm like, oh cool. It's alpha cool. Alpha. I just feel like that blue. Hmm. So we're going to go with the black EK block. I haven't used that one in a little while. Nice. Because again, we're going to do probably clear piping and then like real bright green coolant. And it's going to look pretty bad. So. Okay, let's put our reservoir back in. The Ice Becker DDC. 
Alpha Cool Ice Banker. I assume that's how they say it. Exactly. Um, all right. Power supply. So I want to also, we are doing thermal take. Let's, I want to see what this RGB power supply looks like. It, it has an RGB fan. I mean, you can't see the fan, so I don't think we're even really going to see it, but I just figured why not? Yeah, there's no, and there's no power supply shroud in this build. So it's kind of like, it's kind of revealing. Ooh, scandalous. Um, also, another reason I chose this case, one of the reasons I chose this case is because I really wanted a case with a vertical mount GPU. I thought, you know what? This is an NVIDIA build. They're all about graphics cards, obviously. So I wanna show off some graphics cards. So I think we're gonna do a water cool GPU and I'm excited to try out the new Alpha Cool Ice Block um, 20 Ti, but it's the one with like the window. So we should get to see the coolant. It's gonna look so good, I hope. Oh yeah, it's all coming together, right? Single GPU, I know, I know. It's disappointing, it's not, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be playing GPU, so. Um, cool, there's our big riser card, see that? Yep. All right, um, cool. I think we've pretty much got everything we need. We just, um, we just, we, 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 we just need to do some piping. So, um, I was just trying to see if this would support any more case fans. Oh, that's funny that it could easily clear that to install that fan. There's really probably not a lot of reason to put a fan there. I mean, other than just like pure we can do it because I mean I, I could just do it okay I'm just gonna do that because this game is all about being a little bit excessive right it's a battle box build I mean we're going to we're going to battle we need all the fans we can get we're gonna go back to fatty radiator there she is the fact that the cables did not hook up there is a bit concerning. Um, cabling could be an issue. I thought that was working before. Okay. That is not encouraging. Uh, hey, so better. Worse, worse. Hmm. This is where the game gets me. Always with the cables. Always. Always with the cables. Sometimes it's purely about, like, order of operations. Because it'll, like, daisy chain some of the fans together. So. Yeah, these are all. Alright, let's see. Can I get this just to connect? Good. Great. Daisy chain. Daisy chain. Yes. Bingo. Okay. So if you guys ever have issues, if you're playing this game at all, um, yeah. I don't know. Fans are probably the hard part. Whoa, so like the... Okay, sorry. I'm jumping around. The GPU block lights up. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, crazy. Okay, all right, cool. Sorry. <laughs> Let's do piping. Um, We're going to go... Pipes. Thank you. Clear rigid. Clear rigid is just like that's just how I roll, man. I could do green rigid, but I want to do it all with the coolant. It's more fun. So, uh, wow, loop order. All right. CPU, GPU. <laughs> wow, this is not this is not a GPU. T turns out, CPU, radiator, through radiator, out radiator. Probably. I've got options here. Um. I could go on, I could go on this side of the GPU, or I could go around and go on this side of the GPU. I'm kind of tempted to go around the front just so we can see it. It'll look kind of neat. I might even kind of try to like come down, come straight over, and then we'll come up out of the GPU, reservoir, reservoir, back to the side. So that's kind of the tentative plan. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. It seemed like you guys enjoyed watching it last time, so I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna do it and you guys can just watch it. I don't know why I talk about loop order because you can just watch me do things, do, do, the, do the things. So 
Uh, yeah, here we go. All right. If you watched the last one, you know I'm all about them 90s. I'm all about that 90 life. 90 degrees. I just think it looks better. Yeah, I, I do actually wish that this had like um some sort of like smooth curved bend mode. Like I'd love to do some just like like some big like loop, like some big like whoop, like a big sweet like smooth bend. But it doesn't really, it won't really do that. Like, oh boy. Yeah, oh no. It'll like, oh boy. Undo, undo. It will, like you can basically just like, you'd have to like go angle, angle. It would look all jankety and not good. I'm pretty sure. The corner there. Pesky corner. Okay, so that looks pretty clean. Cleanly. It looks straight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One done. All right. We're going to come down here. And we're going to come here. So, oh boy. This is a good chance to remove this. Bend. All right. Um, I'd also like to remove this and this. Mm, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna. It's just easier to go simple to start, especially like when you're doing 90. It's just so much. So yeah, that should be a pretty clean from most angles. That's a little out of whack. Okay. Oh boy. Kind of running out of. I'm gonna run out of room here. It's gonna be pretty close to the glass, but um, hopefully we can get the glass on. I did do that all blue build, and I couldn't get the panel, the side panel on, so that was, that was not great. I'm hoping that does not happen here. Uh, yeah. This actually is a little bit hard to figure out if it's perfectly straight from every dimension. It looks a little weird, but I think it's actually straight. Definitely snapping straight, like in every direction. Okay. Must be good. Cool. I think that's going to look pretty sweet. Now, it's like we could go, you know, like, way down and come, you know, and... But I want to leave the window open. That's going to be full of green coolant. And we can also, I think, light it up RGB if we want as an option. So, that'll be kind of fun, too. Uh, this will be a nice, short little bend here. Something simple like that. Uh, and uh, you know, yeah, it's where it gets hard. Like when they're like close, that's like seriously the hardest. When it's close, but not right. I'm just gonna do that to put an extra little bend in it. Oh, it doesn't like it. See, it, it doesn't like when you make super tight adjustments either. It's just not a big fan. Um, I'm trying to think of like what would look cool. I guess we could go like over this direction, try to like create a little bit of symmetry. Symmetry. You know, something like that. Oh boy. Yeah. It's not liking that part of it very much. Okay. See, now I'm like, ooh, am I just creating too much work for myself? I'm gonna work. It's gonna be close. Oh! We're getting there. Boom, boom, boom. Eh. That's quite straight. Better. Better, better, better. Okay. 
Okay, I just need to clean that up. I just want to come that to come like straight. I want you to come a straight out. That is not straight. Okay. Okay, cool. So then this is down, this comes down. Boom boom boom. 90s. Things are happening. Get rid of a little bit of the slack. It's super unnecessary. How tight can I go there? Ah. Yeah. Yes. Hopefully that'll look good. I think that'll look actually kind of cool. And then different. And then we just got one left. Piece of cake. Right? I'm gonna bring this one. I think. I'm gonna make I'm gonna fill some space down here. That ROG is gonna light up on the motherboard right there. I'm just gonna kinda go like right up to That bend is just so unnecessary. I love it. Okay. That looks... Obviously, like, we could do a way simpler run, but it'll just be a little bit more interesting. Okay, so there we go. Uh, bends are done, so... Now we can throw in some real green coolant, and then uh, we'll see how she looks. Green clear UV, green opaque UV. I feel like UV is going to be good. Let's do it. Mm. I was hoping for a well. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. I like that GPU block being so visible. I really wish there was a power supply shroud over that power supply, though. I guess we'll see how it looks with the window on. Okay. Boom. All right, we can go ahead and install it less quick. Cycle. Oh, boy. I hate my... Click the wrong button. Picked up the computer. Oh. Try again. Step away from the computer. Don't break anything. I can't decide. Okay, step back to it. That coolant's interesting. Really interesting. Alright. Let's find some lighting. Let's do some. We'll do a 3D mark. We'll do some OCCT. I know some of you guys have been asking for me to, to benchmark things. Um, so we can do that. Alright, we're booted back up. We got a fancy new wallpaper. Have you noticed that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, it's hard because everything like kind of takes on a different green. I don't. Hmm. 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 Mm. Trying to think. It's just some of the fans get a little bit washed out. Kind of a hard time. Let's see, like, what a darker green would look like. Pretty good. Ooh, that's better. That actually matches the coolant really well. Okay. Let's put some of the case back together. Put our side panel on, breeze through this grill there for our radiator. Got our front panel. Actually, was there a filter? Nope. I don't think so. Dust filter down below. Not a lot of dust filtration on this. Won't need any of that. Panel. Ooh. Yeah, that looks good. Ooh, yes, I like that. Quite nice. What? Why is this one's... Whoa, that is a weird gra... What is going on? What a weird... What? Do you... You see... Whoa. Do you see the fans? It's haunted. Eh, it's haunted. That's an interesting bug. As I move, the fans like... What? And the top one shows lit up, and then I go to it, and it's like... Oh, no, I'm, not. I'm good. Oh, I'm back. I don't know what I'm doing. Wow, that's kind of interesting. I wonder if it's the fans or the case or something else. Okay, 
interesting little uh, interesting little bug there. All right, but that looks pretty sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna run a quick 3D Mark test, um, and we can see how it does. I guess I'll also just run it through OCCT. We can see how temps look. Should be pretty good. We've got a lot of radiator there. Um, fat radiator. I feel like these. I don't know. These thermal tests, like to me, aren't super interesting compared to like a real world thermal test. I just, you know, it's a game. Like, how much can we trust? It, right. Um, but what? 53C or something on the GPU? 57 on the CPU? Is that right? I don't even know. I mean, it's, I don't know. Cool. Good. Great. Yeah, I think you can do an infinite too, it just runs forever. But I don't know, like, I don't know how, like, if they actually will take a long time to saturate like they do in real life. Like, I don't know how true some of this testing is to, like, real life. But, because, like, you know, like, on a re in, like, real life, like, on a system, like, you gotta wait a while for the, for the system to, act, like, for the loop to actually saturate. Um, like, you know, 20 minutes or so. But I just have no idea how it works in this game. No clue. So, okay, I'll do a quick 3 mark test so we can have a score. And, uh, yeah, that will be good. All right, she's all done. 12,052 for our 3 mark score. So, um, I don't have any builds to exactly remember how good that is. I know I've hit, like, eh, 26,000, I think, is, like, my overclock. Maybe 27,000. So, I mean, that was two GPUs. Uh, Red Ripper CPU, maybe. So, you know. Uh, but anyway, I mean, very, very respectable, for sure. It, you know, it's good, I guess. So, so there it is. Um, the NVIDIA BattleBox PC inside the Thermaltake View 37 RGB, which is a case I've been wanting to build in for a while. This case is $75. I'd say that's a heck of a case for $75. That glass alone seems like it'd be expensive to manufacture. I love the fan. I mean, this is, this is great. I love this. It's hilarious. Okay, so there it is. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and if you did enjoy and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe for more videos of PC Building Simulator, so well as some other games I've been playing. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.